Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. This video we are going to watch a very amazing video by AWS, essentially AWS WAF security automation. Often time, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, people are not flooding your website or doing a DOS attack on your website, right? You want to block um, um, suspicious IP address, right? You also want to make sure you have honeypots so that the bots cannot scrape your website. This solution by AWS is simply fantastic. Everything goes real time, you know, uh, anytime a request comes in, it goes to the FireOS, FireOS to S3, they do all these check, I'll go, I'm gonna show you this architecture. It's simply mind blowing. Uh, so let me play the video and now. Hello, welcome to Solving with AWS Solutions your deep dive into architectures built by AWS that are ready to deploy instantly in the cloud. He's Rob, and I'm the smart one. Thanks, Tom. Today we're talking about AWS WAF Security Automations, a solution that enables customers to quickly create firewall rules that secure their applications in the cloud. The solution automatically deploys a set of AWS WAF rules designed to filter common web-based attacks and continuously maintain those rules. If you're hosting a web application on the AWS cloud, this is the solution for you. So now my dogs can't hack his applications anymore. All right, let's get into it. Tom, talk to me about AWS Web Application Firewall Security Automations. Certainly. Let's uh, let's go with AWS WAF. Okay, that makes things sense. Easier. It's pretty amazing, guys. Uh, this is the landing page for the solution. Like all our solutions, we have a link to a detailed implementation guide, a CloudFormation template so you can launch it into your account, and the source code is available on GitHub if you want to customize the solution. That's awesome. Can we dive into the architecture a little, please? We certainly can. So there's two pieces to this solution. Uh, firstly, as part of the CloudFormation deployment, we are going to deploy and configure AWS WAF for you. I'm going to set up a bunch of rules so that you can protect your web application. And then the IP reputation list, bad bots, pretty dope, right? Pretty dope. Let's keep watching. The second piece is this uh, architecture over here, and that's where we're going to set up some workflows so that we can automatically update those rules uh, accordingly to keep your site safe. So there's two automations, the deployment automations as well as the learning automations of this. Yeah, so as we see requests coming into your web application, we can analyze those and then we can keep those rules that we've set up up to date to make sure your web, web application is secure. All right, so kick me off. How does this work? So we deploy these rules uh, through the CloudFormation template. Once the solution has been deployed, um, if you go into the uh, uh, WAF console, um, you'll see that the setup uh, that we've configured for you. Um, if you go into rules, you'll see here are all the uh, common rules that we've set up and put in place. All the customer then has to do is uh, click on association and associate their web application with this instance of AWS WAF. So all that was done as part of the CloudFormation template. The last step is just that association. Hooking your web application up. Yeah. All right, so can you give me some examples of some of the firewall protection that we're implementing. Yeah, certainly. Let's let's dive into the architecture, and I ha I've broken it down so we can take a, a closer look at some of the examples. So okay. here's our WAF configuration set up. We've associated our web application, which in this instance is CloudFront and application load balancer. And there are a number of different ways that we can analyze the logs and coming out of uh, this solution uh, nice. to Take update at AWS WAF. Well. So just to be clear, this web application resources, this would be your own particular application? This is the customer's application running on the AWS cloud. Yeah. Okay, so what is the log parser doing? So log parser is we're actually taking the logs from the load balancer uh, uh, being stored in S3, and then every time a log is push to S3, that's going to trigger an event, and we're going to use a combination of Amazon Athena, which is a SQL querying service, and Lambda, and we can, the combination of those two is we can analyze those log files and look for any suspicious activity from source IP addresses, and this, in this particular instance, we're looking at scanners and probers that are trying to find vulnerabilities in your web application. So this is actually the self-learning from our own logs focusing on the scanners and the probes. Yeah, so it's looking at that, identifying suspect um, uh, connections, looking at that source IP address, and then we're going to update 
uh, that particular rule set with those IPs. What other types That's of amazing. things can we learn? Sure. So there's a couple of different uh, approaches that we have. Uh, the other one is actually passing the uh, WAF logs themselves. OK. So again, uh, we're taking the log stream coming from AWS WAF. We're using Amazon Kinesis data firehose to push those log files to S3. And then again, the combination of Lambda and Amazon Athena to query those log files. And in this particular instance, what we're looking for is HTTP flooding traffic. So that's when a single source is making way too many requests to your application. And we can identify that as a, a form of attack. So the first one was looking at our application logs. Now we're looking at the WAF logs. Yep. Do correct. we have another way of self-healing and self-learning? We've got two others that we can look at. Um, uh, the IP list parser. So we have a CloudWatch event that is out of the box, is uh, set to trigger hourly. And what that's going to do is trigger a Lambda function, which is making calls out to a number of third-party services that list and create a database of known attackers, known source IP addresses that you want to avoid and you want to block from being able to app, uh, access your application. OK, so those are being updated on a regular basis. We're now able to update our WAF to take advantage We're of We're able that. to pull that in. And, and again, out of the box, that's an hourly. You could change, change the, you know, the timing on that to whatever you see fit. OK. Lastly, uh, we've also deploying something uh, that's called a honeypot. Sounds very James Bondish. Uh, it's more kind of Winnie the Pooh, but okay. yeah. Um, it's an uh, API gateway uh, with a Lambda function. And what you do is you take the endpoint from the uh, API gateway and, uh, very and smart. attach Must that to that. your web very application. Smart. And then what we're looking for, particularly with, thing, with bad bots and scrapers, if we see anybody trying to access that particular endpoint, we know that they're not accessing the website. Uh, we know that that's a mis uh, malicious um, IP address that's coming in. And so the Lambda function will update that list of IPs as well. So we're actually setting a trap that normal people wouldn't go visit, but a yeah, bot would visit. It's not part of your web application, but it is still available through CrowdFront. So anybody who's going there is not trying to access your website. That's awesome. Well, thanks for walking through some of the examples of how web application firewall security automations can help us. Let's call it WAF. <laughs> All right, WAF it is. So there you have it, how you can easily configure and deploy AWS WAF to protect your web application hosted on the AWS cloud. Security is one of the biggest priorities in the cloud. So I just want to comment. This is absolutely brilliant, right? There's a Lambda that's checking on a cron, right? And making a call to some API and getting the list of malicious IP addresses and they're blocking it in the blocking list. Not only that, they are doing. Uh, you can also implement real-time log parser, which means anytime a request a lot of flooding floods up, uh, if there are so many requests coming in, they are, it goes to the fire. Or they are analyzing everything. They have architectures for all of these. Simply amazing. I, I definitely want to try this out. Uh, I am gonna actually try this out uh, over the weekend. I'll try certain things out and see how that works uh, because I learn the best when I actually physically try things out myself. But really, really, I, I, I enjoy watching videos like this, you know. Uh, by, by watching this, I also come to know, oh, so that's he's doing, oh, he's doing that. So I learn a lot just by simply watching videos, right? And of course, then by trying out by myself. Thank you so much for watching this video with me. Hope you have enjoyed it, and we will watch more and more videos uh, together. <laughs>